Have you ever signed a record deal before? Mm-mm, no, I ain't never signed no deal. And at this point, do you have your own record label, your own imprint by any chance? No, not yet. When it comes to Slaughter Gang, how did you become a part of that? It's family. Like, all of us stayed in the same house together. You feel me? Like, under the same roof. Like, you feel me? On the same bed type shit. So, family. And when you use that phrase family, literally speaking or just figuratively? Everything I just said, literally. Sleeping in the same bed, under the same roof. Like, family. When it comes to the chains, 21 and the Slaughter Gang piece, do you remember how you got those items? Yeah, uh, 21 Savage, it was a gift from him. And was it a chaining day, so to speak, when you received these pieces? What do you mean? Like, was it a, like a chaining day, for lack of a better phrase? Was it something that was done publicly? No. Was it something that was done maybe we, in front of a, I don't know, a, a, a crowd of people. Yeah, that sort of thing. No, nah, not really. Like, like sometimes nah, I see both of them. Both times when I got both of my chains, it was like on some family, on some family. Like, on we kicking it. Like he just came out of the blue. Like, hey, bro, here you go. He just if that was the first I got this one first. Like, I don't have this one for a couple of years since he been big. I just, I just got this one. Like, I ain't had this one for like, like I ain't. Even, I don't think I even had this one about a year. The Cuban link. He pulled up on it, called me. Like, where you at? I'm like, I'm at the house. Pull up. He like, oh, we like, can I am when I come to the car, he was like, here. Yeah. Like for show. Sure. That's how that went. Okay. And when I'm in chaining day, sometimes stuff like that happens in a recording studio and it's recorded on video. Oh, yeah, when people get signed and stuff, no, yeah. I ain't signed. Like this, um, that's my brother, like we family. And uh, when it comes to 21 Savage specifically, care to share biologically how you're related? No, nah, we like, what you mean, like, by like the wing, wing, like, that's not my real brother, but I just, you feel me? Like, the streets made us brother. Got like, it. Our struggles made us brother. Got it. Now, what about this? When it comes to memories in music, any interesting or favorite memories with other recording artists or producers you had a chance to be around or work with you want to share with viewers today? Looking back now at your career so far. Uh, I ain't really worked with nobody big like that. Like, I don't know, not no big artists, like producers, probably. Like, I got a Metro, Metro, that's my boy. You feel me? Uh, Kid Hazel. You feel me? Uh, you feel me? I ain't work with nobody big yet. Not yet. It's on the way, though. And speaking of Metro, do you remember when you two first met? Uh, uh, my brother brought him around one time. He was at, I guess, I think I went to the studio. First time I seen him with, with Sab. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we met. And speaking of both, Metro Boomin and 21 Savage, do any of their levels of success where they're at currently surprise you by any chance? No, it don't surprise me. Not at all. Like, it don't surprise me. Like, it just motivate me, if anything. Motivate. For real. Because I know where he came from. Like, I was there too. Is it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I seen him do that. You feel me? So. Sometimes people see this coming, they see the trajectory and where it's going, and sometimes people are surprised on the levels of success people get in music. So that's the basis of that question. Didn't know if you were surprised by how far either of them have gotten musically or if you saw it coming. I just knew he was going to be big when he when, when they first had the on to him. I just feel like he was going to be big. You know what I'm saying? Because it was different. You feel me? People like different. Especially when you're doing your thing and you're different. And one more question about 21 Savage. 
biggest advice he's ever given you or most important thing you learned being around him? He said, uh, I ain't talking. He said, rap should be like a hobby. You should get your money first. Make sure you're getting your money first. You feel me? Don't put all into the rap because it ain't guaranteed. So now, make sure you have a fallback plan or something. You feel me? 